it has to look good too. If they're gonna actually use it in their office, it needs to have a professional look to it, okay? Um, number two, no follow through. This is something that drives me absolutely insane and it drives a lot of our community partners insane. They get a lot of Purdue folks, and I won't say Epic specifically, but Purdue folks that come and say, we're gonna deliver this. And they tell them all about this really great project, this design, this material that they might be able to create. And then life happens about November, and then December hits, and now the students are gone. And there is no great product or material that was actually delivered. So follow through is so important because what happens when we don't follow through is our community partners then resent us. And I am learning that they will stop working with Purdue if we don't follow through. So that's always something to keep in mind. And if that means come November, you're realizing we're not going to get whatever product completed that, that you thought you would, tell them. Don't just ghost on them. Tell them what's going to happen because people will be very understanding if you say, okay, how can we adjust and modify at this point? Yes, you have a question? Um, how does that translate to when you first making an agreement? Like, is there a way that you should clarify that it's not a set? Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> so I'll repeat that. So, okay. so d how does that translate to when you're first making the agreement? Is there a way that you should clarify that it's not a 100% done deal, I guess. You mean that the product you're going to be delivering will be 100% done or what? Yeah, or let's say that it's a it's a project that has a high risk of failure and you want to clarify that there's not a 100% chance that the project will be delivered. So I think in in your agreement you want to have some of that clarifying language in in like a, a memorandum of understanding for example, and I think what you can do though is give them benchmarks that could be accomplished even though the final product may not, it may fail. Is that, is that kind of what you're getting at? Yeah. But you will, along the way, accomplish these pieces in order to get there. Yeah. So at least is that goodwill that you're working on it, and, but it might ultimately not work. Right. And so I think that, that shows good faith. Does that help? Yeah. Okay, Thank you. okay. All right, and then the number one reason we talked about being thorough, be complete, is you don't show up, right? Well, this hasn't happened to any of you, so that's a good thing. But please show up, please, please, please. They take time, it's energy for them to schedule meetings. As you all know, they're very busy, so please show up. Make sure your teammates are showing up. Um, you know, you guys are sitting here probably because you care very deeply about your project partners and you wanna make sure that you work with them effectively. I don't know if all your teammates feel the same way, but you guys get the role now of making sure they do care, right? Thank you for showing up, okay? So please make sure you're there, you communicate, and, and again, like I said, if things aren't going to be accomplished or if you have roadblocks, if you have questions, these are people. Talk to them, ask questions, clarify, okay? All right, um, we did these scenarios. I think that's really it. So the last thing I wanna ask you guys, are there any things that you wanna troubleshoot? So any issues you're having with your community partners that you want to talk about and try and fix right now that we could troubleshoot as a group? We've got a few minutes left. So you ask a question. Anybody else have any? Yeah. Um, so my project partner is kind of just like a yes man and says yep. like, this is awesome, let's do that, let's do it, let's, let's do it. And it's kind of like, like that's encouraging and, and <laughs> it's awesome that we wanna do these things, but sometimes like we don't have the right like specifications of like, well, what do you actually want if this isn't feasible? Okay. Um, so just like, how do you like, get to the real like conversation about like managing expectations and what an actual team of students can accomplish. So do you have, so you could, you could take a couple different approaches. One, you could provide alternatives. So if he's a yes man, then give him this really crazy far-fetched thing you know he wouldn't really want as an option and then give him a reasonable option. And hopefully that will help him see that Okay, you can't say yes to everything. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just have to show people, right? Um, are there other individuals you could talk to that are surrounding that project that could help you clarify where these things come in? Because I've worked with partners before that don't want to, they don't want to offend Purdue students, so therefore they say yes to everything. That is not helpful at all. That is really not helpful. Um, and and I, have you said that to them? Not quite like that. But in a polite way of saying, you know, I, we appreciate that you want all of these things, but we are limited in time, scope, funding, 
how can we not say yes to everything and, and say really yes to some specific things. So sometimes you just have to have those frank conversations. Might work, might not. Um, but try to get some more individuals in the game too that could help narrow it down. That's a good question. Okay, time is up. I appreciate you all staying and waiting, <laughs> even though you probably could have left. Um, we do have another um, series coming up on reflection on the 21st, and then the time after that, we'll be talking about the Purdue Journal for Service Learning. Um, and it won't be me, it'll actually be the editor um, walking you through how that process works if you want publications in that journal. So thank you all. Have a wonderful day.